What's in the box? What is good, YouTube? It's that one camera guy back at it again with another video for you. This is an unboxing and first impressions of a particular lens that you might find some interest as an alternative to the Sony Zeiss version. Let's take a look. So that was the unboxing for the Rokinon 35mm f2.8 FE. What I really like about this lens is probably its price point. Uh, right now, competitive wise, the Sony Zeiss version of this retails for around 700 to 800 US dollars. Whereas this one's about half that price, about 350 retail. Now during Cyber Monday, Black Friday, it could have been had for under 300 bucks, which was a really good deal for this lens. Let's talk about construction. This lens is literally all pretty much just plastic uh, from everything else about it and even the mount itself is just made out of plastic. It looks like it's made out of metal but it looks like it's just plastic that was painted. So this definitely will not be able to take a beating, any hard hits to it, um, some roughness to the actual lens is probably going to show pretty quickly on this particular model. So I just wanted to keep that in mind in terms of just my overall thoughts on the look of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very, very not so premium lens, which makes sense for the price. Let's talk about the lens hood here. I thought this was very interesting. I know I read about it, but I forgot about it on the internet. But when I was going through the little, uh, when I was going through the actual case, I was like, where's the lens hood for this? And actually what they do is they set the lens hood as an attachment. It's actually already on the actual lens, which I think is amazing. So they keep it all compact and they have the lens hood there and all you got to do is just rotate it off and the lens hood is off and this is it. This is the actual lens hood for the actual lens. And that's it. Just reattaches on with the thread and there you go. Autofocus speed and performance. Now we're going to do some more tests later on this, a more full on review for the actual lens looking at image quality and the results that it can get. But in terms of just autofocus noise for example, you do hear a little bit of a hum. And then as far as speeds are concerned, using it on like an A9, it's pretty fast. Um, it looks pretty good. And in, in video, while I was recording it, uh, doing some recordings in video, you do hear the autofocus motor kind of hum through. Whether or not it's gonna be picked up in the video is a different story. I think as long as the microphone is above the camera, I think it'll be okay, but if it's just recording internal audio to the camera, it's probably going to end up picking up that noise. Folks, that's going to do it for me as far as my initial impressions about this lens. I think it's a very, very interesting product for those of you that are looking for an inexpensive 35 f 2.8. And I, and I say inexpensive, I mean relatively to the counterpart of this. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other content, and be on the lookout for the full review of this lens. I'm your host, That One Camera Guy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.